the situation we find ourselves in now with data is that we've got an awful lot of data. No, you know, so we're not short of data. Um, what we what we struggle with is how to use that data, or use that data productively, or have it uh, find a use for it. And part of that is bringing it all together. Um, so you have data from multiple sources, um, and you bring it together and start to form a picture of what your plant or your facility or a, um, a particular piece of plant might be operating like, for example, um, and what. What you start, what what we're looking for is when you bring all of those pieces of data together. Suddenly, you have some new insights that you wouldn't have had if you looked at those pieces of data in isolation. Um, so, what what we're looking to do is um, bring it to life with visualizations as well, and that's just one way. So, it might well be that you're using graphs, you're using uh, spreadsheets, you're using whatever. But one way to look at it is you might use VR. So, for example, if we were to get, let me, if I give you an example, we're looking at using VR to decommission a facility, a nuclear facility. So when we go into that facility, inevitably it's going to have a, radio, a radioactive element to it and it may have some chemical hazards as well. So if we, if we, put a, um, if we model that in, in a VR space, we put the headset on, then we can, we can artificially introduce um, a colour-coded cloud, for example, that shows what the radioactivity is like as you're walking around. So you can walk around this facility. We've calculated what the, the activity levels are as you, as you, uh, in a 3D uh, environment. And as you walk around, as you look around, the, the cloud is changing colour. So you can see where your active sources are and where your problems are before you ever go into the facility. Um, so you can start to, and what, what we would look to do then is you have live sensors in the facility so that you can you can have feedback kind of a feedback loop that brings in new data live data to test against your calculated data so you're building on that all the time you're building that picture of what your facility or what the what the activity of your facility might look like